Xavi's new look Barcelona after four January transfers including Aubameyang. Barcelona defied their well-documented financial problems to enjoy a busy January transfer window which included four arrivals into the first-team squad. There was always likely to be a radical squad overhaul after the club crashed out of the Champions League group stage and were subsequently eliminated from both the Spanish Supercopa and Copa del Rey last month. In December, Barca boss Xavi pledged that the club will return to the level of Europe's elite in a year from now and wasted no time in delving into the transfer market. Veteran fullback Donny Alves became Xavi's first signing as a free agent, the defender will turn 39 before the season is out and was signed in November before his registration kicked in this year. The Catalan Giants then confirmed the arrival of the Brazilian before completing the signing of Ferran Torres from Manchester City this month for an initial fee of £46 million, with potential add-ons meaning the deal could rise to £54 million. Have your say. Will Xavi be able to lead Barcelona back to Europe's elite? Tell us what you think here. Barca were not finished there. They secured the loan signing of La Masia graduate Adama Traer from Wolves before clinching the signing of Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. That is over a third of an entire new starting lineup arrived at the club within the space of a month with Xavi's impact already being felt. There will not be a change to the long-term position of number one goalkeeper Marc-André Ter Stegen, although doubts may remain over the German's future. He has endured a prolonged slump in form over the past 18 months and could be an option for the club to cash in on should they need to continue raising funds. Alves will slot into the right-back slot, displacing Sergino Dest, with long-serving left-back Jordi Alba continuing in his position. Gerard Peake will add to a veteran defence, but his partner is likely to be Ronald Arajo, who has moved above Eric Garcia, Clement Lenglet and Samuel Mtiti in the pecking order. Indeed, Barca had hoped to loan out Mtiti, who penned a new long-term deal, in order to spread the cost of his contract, before injury put paid to that. Another veteran, Sergio Busquets, will continue to anchor the midfield with two midfielders, selected ahead of him in a 4-3-3 shape. While Frankie de Jong is the highest profile of this group, he could end up being eased out of the team due to his continued underwhelming performances and emergence of a trio of teenagers. Like Ter Stegen, de Jong could be sold as a prized asset with Pedri and Gavi starting to establish themselves as regulars in Barca's side, with the talented Nico Gonzalez also pushing for a starting spot. In attack, Ansu Fati's injury problems continue to concern the club, while there are a plethora of other attacking options. Memphis Depay, Martin Braithwaite, Ausmain Dembele, who is out of contract this summer, and Luke de Jong, may all find themselves forced out of the Zai by the new signings. Arrivals Torres and Aubameyang are almost certain starters, while Traer would also fit into an entire new-look attack. Ilias Akimic, Farin Jutla and Abdezel's Auli have all played unexpected roles this season due to an attacking